According to the Minister of Public Security, the recently commissioned Technical and Vocational Skills Training Program will also include sessions on social issues such as suicide and domestic violence. More details in this report. At last week's commissioning ceremony for technical and vocational skills training programs that will be held in Regions 5 and 6, Minister of Public Security Honorable Kemraj Ramjitan revealed that the program will not only teach the participants a particular trade or skill, but it will also include lectures on social issues such as suicide and domestic violence. We will do some training in domestic Violence, what is all about? How to identify early and all of that. So not only your skills aspect, we want to also allow those who are part and parcel of this program to get a better appreciation of why not to be violent at a domestic level. We want to motivate you to increase your self-esteem. Very many young people today being lonely as it were, do a number of things that are extraordinarily negative, onto themselves even. I don't know if you are there, I was in Black Moose, Florida, where young people have taken their lives from suicide. Black Moose, you know, is one of the highest rates of suicides anywhere in the world. Why that is so? It is because very many of the young people also lack self-esteem. They do not believe that this life is worth living. And we have to do some training in that. He also revealed that the government is advocating for more youths to be in school. We have also indicated that we're going to do workshops on teenage pregnancy and peer pressure, effective parenting, environmental education, prevention of sexual transmitted diseases, interpersonal violence prevention, and conflict resolution. Now that's a mouthful. But when young people know at least the basics of what these topics are all about, they will learn to appreciate and believe what is wrong with the brain. How to resolve a conflict rather than to aggravate it that could end up in a stubborn incident or a big fight. And then that could end to injuries and sometimes prosecutions and then jail. I would prefer our Guyanese young people to be in schools rather than in jail. Just like our president has been saying, I would require, I would demand of it that we become assets rather than liabilities. A total of 270 individuals are expected to participate in the program. Some of the programs are expected to last for one year. Sasha Ramsavan reporting for Channel 8 News.